If you're familiar with my grow guides, you'll notice that I recommend Happy Frog for every single soil grow chart that I use. And the reason being is that it's the most biodiverse soil that I've come across. For example, right here, you can see all the mycorrhizae included in the soil. If you don't know what that is, it's often confused with mold, smells like mushrooms, and it has a symbiotic relationship with your plant roots. In exchange for housing, the mycorrhizae will break down nutrients into a consumable form for the plants. The easiest analogy that I could give you is that us as people have certain raw foods that we can't eat until cooked. The mycorrhizae is basically cooking the food so the plants can eat it. Now I don't guess. So I had to get this lab test, FFHF, HF is happy frog, and you'll see the pH test is 5.2. That's extremely low, and one of the problems with this soil is that there is a wide variance in pH. This is why I always recommend anybody that's using soil to do a slurry test. My at-home slurry test came back at a 4.9, which is really close to the 5.2 on this lab test, showing that it actually works. Now, being that this is 5.2, you still want to balance the soil out. A comfortable range is 5.8 to 6.5. 5.8 is for the younger plants, whereas 6.5 is later on in bloom. In order to do that, you want to add some pH up, and that's shown in this pot preparation video linked on the top right. Now the NPK is low, high, and optimal. This is completely inaccurate on the nitrogen because in the form that I sent this soil to the lab, this nitrogen has not been broken down. This is what I was explaining earlier that the mycorrhizae is responsible for breaking down this organic matter into a consumable, measurable form. So in order to activate it, you need to pre-moisten this soil about five days in advance. If you want an immediate fix, you could use Grow Big, which is an NPK of 644, but that's gonna bump up things that it's already high and optimum on. So the alternative is to use Flora Micro, which has an NPK of 501. That's gonna target just the nitrogen. Grow Big and Flora Micro both have these trace elements that the soil is low on, that's zinc and boron. So those are the perfect additions to balance the soil out. If you're trying to balance it out on the organic side, you're gonna wanna add worm castings. But like I said, this needs to be broken down. So you really wanna add it a week before the nitrogen levels are depleted to give the mycorrhizae time to break it down. For the trace elements that this is low on, the dry amendment I like to use is called Cyto Plus. This has every single trace element in the appropriate amounts. The problem with it is that it does jack up the pH, which actually helps in this situation, and that most people overuse it. You only need a tiny amount. I'm talking a half a teaspoon for a five gallon fabric pot's worth of soil. That's it. So out of seven soils that I tested, this is the most well-rounded soil. As long as you prepare this soil right, you'll have the best results. If you value this content, smash that like, hit that bell, and for the best tutorials on how to grow, check out my site, hwgrow.com.